Just relax okay. for me, okay? I got my dog dog now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and then I got attacked in the parking lot. <laughs> Alright, just relax. Just relax. We're going to get figured out what's going on and then we can go from there. Yeah. Is it? Oh, it's this one? Yeah. Okay, here, I don't want to hurt your arm, so... Until we get figured out, we're just detaining you, alright? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright, here, you just relax. Okay. Yeah. Alright, just relax. Yeah. Just relax. Yeah. Just relax. Yeah. Just relax. Three Tom 26. We've got him detained. Everything's calmed down. We'll start with the three we've got. Figure out what we got going. There we go. Yeah, she's waiting over the first There we go. Would you be more yeah, comfortable she, sitting up? Yeah. Right. You can sit up. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's like the first time I've seen the message. It's so you need to take a few breaths and get to where you can talk to them. Daniel, what's your birthday, bro? Alright, here we go. I'm going to go talk to the host there and see what's up there. Sure. Okay. I'll start there. Okay. Yeah, so I think it's like maroon shirt. She should be standing by the yeah, service desk. Yeah, I saw coming in. She... Daniel, we got the paramedics coming to check on you, okay? Alright, what's going on today? So, I just... Uh... I just bought a dog, uh -huh. adopted a dog two days ago, and I'm a new singer-songwriter and I got a massive internet fan base, Okay. and I just had some fan walk up to me over at the good times, um, I was sitting outside, <laughs> and just walked up on me. Okay. Um, I was giving my dog water um, because I was going to be staying at the Motel 6. They don't have a room yet. Okay. So I was going to be staying at the Motel 6. I am currently homeless. Okay. So I don't have any money. Sure. Um, I pretty much spent all my money on the dog because okay. I was going to introduce it as a, um, as a guard dog uh -huh. for my popular Okay. And. This person who I guess has a background in, because she told me, um, drove up in the car, told me that she was a veterinarian, and just randomly grabbed my dog from me okay. on leash, and just immediately ran to the car while I was still sitting down. I grabbed my stuff by the time I got over to the car, just drove up. Okay. Um, with the dog. Okay. That I literally just spent all my money. Not all my money, but 99.9% of my money. Sure. And I panicked because I just went to PetSmart and I bought $100 worth of stuff. Almost. And, like I said, I just don't have a lot of money because I'm homeless. Where's all your stuff at right now? All I know is it's uh, in the entryway, kind of just right okay. And I panicked. Um, I panicked because I'm homeless. Um, my popularity, I wanted a guard dog. And mm -hmm. it just, I was, I just freaked out. Um, I tried to come over here for help. Um, over to Walmart. I was just panicked. And, um, is that why you were hitting yourself and all that's that? That's why I was hitting myself. Okay. Because I was panicked. Okay. Um, I didn't mean to do at all what I was doing. I just came in <laughs> and just me uh, crying pretty much and just they told me to leave. I refused because I wanted to come in here and get, ask for help. Uh -huh. By that time, two people to two of the employees were just being overly aggressive, which freaked me out more. 
and I acted on fear. Okay. Um, that's it. All right. Paramedics are here. We'll, uh, we'll talk a little more after they get a chance to talk to you. You said Daniel Larson? It's Daniel, yeah. Okay. And I didn't, I didn't put hands on anyone at first. Okay. This is Daniel. This is our self inflicted. Okay. Um, he had, was started over an argument about someone taking, or an incident where someone took his dog and he panicked. He didn't really know what he was doing. Okay. Daniel, can I get some vitals on you? Yes. Daniel, what's your date of birth? Rundown what we got going on. Okay, so I was just we were sitting ready for, for my me. shopper special. I sit right here in the front, and he started walking in front of the bus. Okay, and he was swinging that right swinging there, a leash, okay. and it just hit the window and whack. And so well, a guy was up. following behind him, yeah. a man was following behind him, and he has a black guy, Hispanic man, okay. wearing a gray shirt and blue jeans, and he was like trying to stop him. Okay, and then um, that guy kept they kept on going. Well, the guy with the black eye tried to get on my bus, and okay. he was just like, I was like, no, this is for the seniors. And he was like, well, I'm a senior. I'm getting on this bus. And I said, no, 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 you got to get off. Okay. And then by then I was already calling dispatch. Good. And then I called it. So they should be sending a supervisor okay, and transit police. Came back into the store, and then he walked back out towards Wadsworth. Okay. And he was saying about something about something being lost. It was about his 50, 60. Okay, is that, this may be separate, well, no, this is an RTD bus, it's just a senior bus out on the parking lot of Walmart. And the Hispanic male that I just described was associated just prior to the breaking of the windshield. Like, if you could jump over the wall, they're right there, so just make a right on. and then a left. My question. Dealing with a guy over at the Walmart who was having a very bad day. Um, he said, I think he might have been in here or was coming in here. Does he have a dog? Yes. 
German Shepherd? Yeah. Yeah. I received a phone call on him that the dog was in distress and the customer um, was going to call um, animal control okay. to check on the dog because he felt that the dog was in distress. Sure. Um, I never seen him in the store. I only seen him out here uh, adjusting okay. his collar or something and then he got into his backpack and then I didn't see him anymore. Okay. Because according to him, someone took his dog. Took his while, dog? Yeah, while he was sitting over at the Good Times. So, I just wondered if you guys knew anything about that. No. But he was, yeah. but he was just hanging out outside there? He, so he was right outside these windows here. Okay. It was the only time that I saw him. I didn't see him in here. But okay. again, I run around all over the place. Sure, yeah. And then, um, when the customer called me, I said, I don't know if he's part of the homeless camp that's over, uh -huh. that, that's over here in the area. He goes, well, I'm going to call animal control because the dog's in distress. So they need to go over there and figure out what's going on with the dog. Because he was panting, I guess, a lot. This is probably the worst day to be a German yeah. Shepherd out. <laughs> yeah. Um, and he was just, he said he was really hot. Again, when I looked at the dog, I only saw the top part of the dog. So he was doing something with the collar on him or something. Awesome, thank you. Okay. Yeah, yeah no I was problem. trying to figure out what okay. happened. But they All were right. going to call animal control, you said? Animal control was going to be called. He goes, I'm calling them right now. They need to go assess that dog. And it was, was just a customer that came in the store? Or was uh, it? Yeah, he said he was uh, He was in the store and then he was going to drive to work. And he's in the area. But okay. He, um, I said, okay. Yeah, because they were like right here is where they were at. And then they kind of walked that way and I kind of did my thing. So, okay. Yeah, awesome. I didn't know if maybe they went over that way or where they were at. Okay. Were you on the bus when it happened? No, I was in there. You were? Yeah. You were safely shopping? Yes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Yeah. Were any of you guys on a bus when when the windshield thing happened? I don't understand. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Oh. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Were you? No. Were you on the bus when it happened? Yeah. You were sitting on here when it happened. Okay. Did you see the guy that was swinging the bag around? Yeah, I seen him take. I heard him, he broke our window. I seen a kid running that way. Okay. Looked like a junior high. I don't know how tall he was, but he had a black sweatshirt or a dark, dark blue one. Pretty fan, young man. So I like it. Okay. It just shows Pictures the Pictures doesn't do it justice. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, that's a pretty wicked hit. It is. It just was right at the right angle, I think. Oh, I think so. Yeah. I think so. You like a big old rock hitting it. Yep. Except I don't that, think he did it on purpose. I think he was just swinging I think he has thing. some stuff going on. Yeah. I don't I don't yeah. think it was intentional. No. But he went inside and caused quite a disturbance yeah, in there, too. Yeah, that was scary, so. yep. Yep. Passengers were scared from that. <laughs> far as I'm concerned, you all y'all can leave whenever you want if okay. you're comfortable. That's that's between y'all, but right. we're done with you. Okay. Sounds okay. good. That's my last passenger. That's your last one? Yep. Okay. So. Let me call dispatch. Let them know. Thank you. Okay. Okay. I hope the rest of her day is I way know. more boring. Everything goes good. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Just the backpack that he took and he has some kind of lanyard that he did. It's like with a, the, Dog leash, I yeah, think. Yeah, dog leash, okay. He did with the bus with that. Yeah, and that's what bus of the windshield. And then other than that, I see it after that. Okay. So I don't know if he had it in here or not. If he did, he didn't use it on me. His face was fine. They kept on punching us out. Oh, he was you punching the video. Oh, okay. He was like putting his face down. And well, the folks in the bus described the other guy as having a black eye. The, the lady rolled up in the car. Where Was this at the PetSmart? So this was right across from the PetSmart. Okay. Um, I was sitting at like the picnic table area at the good times. Okay, that's like right. You did, you did say that. And the it was. I know I don't want to sound crazy with my popularity, but it was a fan 
like okay. you know, a supporter of my career. Do you know them? Um, I don't know them by name, but I've met up with them once before. Okay. And we got lunch. Um, she paid for my lunch, so you know, I kind of knew her, not fully, but I knew who she was, what she looked like, and I recognized her. Uh -huh. Do you know a screen name or anything like that? I YouTube don't. handle? Um, my YouTube. Why well, know yours? But I, I don't know hers. Does hers, okay. Can you describe her for me? She was a white female, kind of, I want to say mid-sized, kind of like you, muscles. Okay. She's um, wearing glasses. The glasses, um, I don't want to say were black glasses, but they were dark-ish. I okay. can't make it out. As far as what she was wearing, um, I, I don't really know what I can. I don't remember. Okay. What I can say is she had tattoos on her legs, so she was wearing shortish pants, I should say. She had tattoos. Okay. Um, the tattoos were just randomish tattoos. Mm -hmm. Um, not a lot, so... Anything just, stick out as far as what? Just, any designs? Maybe, like, just one on or two on her, both of her legs, but it was, like, just flowers, okay. like, lumps, like, you know, like, flowers with, like, lines. Sure. Just that, that type. Okay. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but that's what it looked like. Um, so when you had lunch with her, what did you call she her? She had tattoos on her arms. Um, when I had lunch with her, she just, like, met up with me in person, and she was like, hey, are you Daniel from social media? Do you have music on Spotify? And I'm like, yeah. Hey, you want me to buy you lunch? And just, we walked across the street. She bought me lunch. When was that? That was, I want to say, a month ago. And she never gave you a name or anything? Uh, she never gave me her name. Okay. Um, you said she came up in a vehicle today. What kind of vehicle? It was just a. It was a black, like regular car, like I want to say four seater. Um, not new, not completely old and run down. Okay. So kind of mid um, size. When she came around and noticed me, she kind of just pulled up. I thought she was a normal guest at for the restaurant, mm -hmm. right? She told me that she has a friend that works there that's not there yet. My guess is she saw me in the area and, you know, decided mm -hmm. she was going to come, whatever. That's what I think happened from her perspective, okay. right? Is that she saw me and knew where I was and, she, like, she was already in the area. Mm -hmm. Um, or somebody called and told her to show up. I don't know. Like, it could have been teamwork with my popularity. She just, um, like I said, um, you might be able to see it on cameras, her on camera. Okay. I'm not sure. But she just came around, um, as if she was going to the restaurant. She then came around, like, looped kind of like in a half crescent, kind of to me. She's like, hey, Daniel, you know, just kind of talking to him. Um, and is like, how are you? Started talking. She just started coughing randomly. And she said, I just woke up not feeling well. I've been sick. And I'm like, okay. You know, she goes over. She throws up on the sidewalk. Okay. Um, I believed her because I saw that she was behind something, so other than me hearing it, I don't know. But I believed it because she was coughing pretty viciously. It wasn't just, you know, mm -hmm. one cough. Um, and she came over again, started talking, is your dog okay? 
And I said, yeah, I'm about to get some good times for me, and I'm going to get the dog some water. And she's like, okay. And just starts talking and is like, are you aware that your dog is skipping a heartbeat? And I'm a veterinarian. I'm a veterinarian. And I was like, no, I didn't know that. So just a normal conversation. Kind of, she started. Mm -hmm. And she's like, do you mind if I just walk your dog in a circle right here? She walked it like one time, two times. Mm -hmm. And then she started walking a little bit further. And I was just watching that, you know, because she told me to keep an eye on, you know, watching the, how the dog breathes. Of course it was hot outside, so yeah. I believed it, right? I was just, like, concerned myself. Mm -hmm. And she then kind of went around back to the, her car. I watched as she went around. And then she just opened up the car door and... I started to get up, I looked, I still had the leash, my leash, hooked to the table because she got brought her own, mm -hmm. which I noticed was a little bit weird, but it was, you know, I, I just didn't think about it at the time, mm -hmm. right? And then she took the dog and she just, oh, well, yeah, so which dog did she drive right, right in. And then she went towards the pet smart and then went right. And then by the time I got up and I went over, she was too far down. I didn't see which direction she went. Okay. Right. What's the I got the dog and she does have a chip. Yeah. And it's out of Boulder. Okay. The, well, What's the dog's no, name? Um, sorry, not Boulder. The Long Mountain Humane Society. Okay. What's the dog's name? Um, it's um, Music. Music? Yes. Okay. And then how much did you pay for her? Um, I paid $100, and then I paid like an extra 30 for all of her normal, like, I guess, vaccines and stuff oh, like okay. that. Okay, I gotcha. Yeah. I gotcha. And then I have all the paperwork and stuff in my backpack. Okay. So I have all the details and... Just all the paperwork. All right. Well, I'll uh, we'll try to check with Good Times, see if they have any video there, and we'll do a theft report. And if you hear anything, let us know. And talk. I was um, the Motel Six. Oh. I was going to be staying there. Yeah, I remember you saying. Okay. All right. I'll see what I can figure out. Yeah. All right. Well, good luck to you. We'll uh, we'll see what we can find out with the pup. Okay. Okay. Thank all right. you.